What if I told you that a facility meant to incarcerate people has now been given the task of holding patients that should be in a hospital? Mental health patients at that. It's a damn shame. Uh, last year, District Court Judge Carlton W. Reeves appointed Michael Hogan, a former New York State Commissioner on Mental Health with 40 years of mental health experience to create twice yearly reports evaluating the state's compliance with the settlement agreement. Now, there's a newly released report exposes that the state of Mississippi the mentally ill seeking treatment are now forced to go to jail because they have no spots available in the hospital. Are you hearing this? In Mississippi, if you have a mental health disorder crisis issue, you go seek help, you go to the hospital, they then take you to jail and you stay in jail. Some people are staying in jail for weeks, up to a month. No crime was committed. They're patients. They need help. Let me put it this way. It doesn't make sense how we treat individuals with a mental health crisis in this country. If a person goes to a hospital because they have, let's say, a broken leg, and the hospital says, well, we can't treat you today. We're going to send you to the jail until we have an opportunity to see you. Would that make sense? Of course not. And it doesn't make sense when we're talking about mental health in America. But that's exactly what they're doing. There's more. <clears throat> in Federal Monitor, Michael um, Hogan reports he illustrates how Mississippians can be subjectively denied admission to their regional crisis stabilization units, increasing the odds that they spend time in jail, in jail while waiting for a bed at a state mental hospital without ever being charged with a crime. Throughout his report, Hogan emphasized the issue of sick people waiting in jail for treatment. On average, during fiscal year 2022, according to DMH, on any given day, you got about 25 people who, who had to go to jail in order to go to the hospital. He called it a clearly unacceptable pattern. They go to jail in order for them to go to the hospital. This is happening right now in Mississippi. In his second report, so I just gave you the first one. In his second report, he surveyed North Mississippi State Hospital, okay, and community mental health centers. <clears throat> In the northern part of the state, did not find patients admitted without a serious mental health diagnosis. If there were fewer denials at the crisis stabilization units, fewer Mississippians with mental illness would wait in jail to receive health care. Of the 1,275 CSU denials in the first half of fiscal year 2022, Hogan reported about 30% occurred because no bed was available. In many cases, because of staffing shortages. A fifth occurred because the CSU determined the person was just too violent. Other den denials were based on the person's substance abuse or medical issue. But the monitor also noted something else. The monitor also noted that some people were not admitted uh, due to staffing shortages at the state hospitals. Staffing shortages also limited the capacity at the crisis stabilization units. So what are we seeing so far? We're seeing problems. These are problems, staffing, et cetera, protocol, policies. Leaders resolve, they remedy the problem. What's the remedy here? What's the solution? Because whoever in the hell came up with the idea to put patients of a hospital inside of a jail cell should be arrested themselves. The liability, the danger, the fact that they will not receive the health care they deserve. Let's be 100. The reason why you do not hear outcry from officials in Mississippi and many others is because of the community we're talking about, mental health, mental disease. That's the reason. In the view of the monitor, gross numbers of admissions do not reveal much about whether these admissions could have been avoided, he wrote. 
Indeed, where admissions to hospitals or CSUs may have been appropriate, but beds were not available. The failure to admit is a problem. Hogan determined the state was in partial compliance with that piece of the order. The Department of Mental Health has increased funding to the community mental health centers for security in an effort to reduce the number of denials. Once again, not a solution. That is not a solution. We're going to just give you more money. No, you need money in a plan. You need money in a strategy. You need money in better leadership. You need money in execution. Well, they said, we're just going to give you more money. That means that they want to be lazy about the remedy. They don't want to be thoughtful about it. Uh, but we are going to try to put pressure on Mississippi to be thoughtful about this and many other things. We got Jackson. What are your thoughts, brother? Well, you know, they threw them in jail. That was just a way to get rid of them and get them out of yep. the way because they didn't really want to deal with it. And they thought they could sweep it under the rug. That's really all it was. And, you know, this is the reality of Republican states. And, the, you know, people are always talking about Democratic cities and states. But this is a reality. This is a Republican state. And they don't have infrastructure to take care of people who have issues. They're passing these, uh, you know, anti-abortion laws and basically throwing people to the side who are impacted by their failure in policy. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, conservatives in this country, especially who have access to the levers of power, they're not interested in fixing society's issues. They're just interested in order and control over others who they don't see as worthy of having access to stuff, basically. Yeah. And let's be clear. Uh, there's no us and them. Individuals who are experiencing this ridiculous policy element in Mississippi, that's us. Every person, including myself, we have experienced a mental health issue and frankly will experience more in the future. They are not separate from us. They are us. These are our brothers and sisters who need help.